you right, guys welcome back to another video it's been a few days for us since we've been to Binaga quarry for the freelander 2 off-road group if you haven't gone and seen the Binaga quarry videos may i suggest you go and see them they're rather quite good i enjoyed editing them anyway but yeah the car's a bit dirty a bit rough around the edges as you'll see in these uh shots So I'm here to give her a little wash and scrub and to show that she is cared for just a little bit. This is not a detailing video. So yeah, enjoy whatever this video comes out to be. Cheers everyone. Dope. Step one, wheels. Gonna start them first. I know you meant to start in certain orders, top down, bottom up, I don't know. I'm gonna make all the detailers out there that see this video absolutely cringe. But yeah, I'm gonna start off with the wheels. Hate doing wheels. So get them overdone with, at least then as the soap runs down, it can additionally clean them as we go. I'm not gonna lie as much as i don't like doing wheels i do like washing cars um, i get some sort of peace and satisfaction from it and also it gives you a good chance to have a look and see if you can find any damage especially with something like vinegar quite harsh on the car overall and i found our first piece of damage look at that let me get close to it i'm gonna blame that one on alana she scuffed the wheel rim naughty alana right wheels done now onto some blasting action with some high pressured water to get all the loose dirt off and then we're on for some snow foam action and it's the bit that i really love and enjoy the inner kid comes out in me everyone loves bubbles right <laughs> Thank you. 
see me. Hopefully you can. Right, now onto my favorite bit, if you can see me, washing. Quite enjoy this bit, quite satisfying. Quite therapeutic, if I must say so myself. By the way, I've ch changed the water and the sponge. Using a fresh new sponge for this, breaking a new sponge. I don't have anyone else, but I like a broken in sponge, one that's used. It's more malleable and getting to all the crevices. New sponge just doesn't feel the same, but just for you guys, I'm using a new sponge. Oh yeah, and there is one problem with having a lift kit. You can't get in the middle of the roof. Even someone of my stature, six foot tall, you, you just can't get there. It's too much of a stretch, Jimmy. Yeah, mud. How did mud get on the roof? Excuse me, Mr. Wiper Blade. I am doing your roof. Scrub a dub dub. By the way, these stickers still for sale. £2.50. People have been buying them. So yeah, if you want one to support the channel, £2.50. Then you well, £2.50 anywhere in the UK. If you're outside the UK, phenomenal price, probably. I'm not sure. But yeah, £2.50 if you want one. Pretty cool. We've washed them numerous times and they've fallen off yet, so. Good quality, buy yours now. Oh, look at that, sun's coming out. How nice. Breathe in, oh, splashed myself. Got me in the fizzle. Stretch for the middle. Morning. Got wet sleeve now. Oh no. Wet sleeve problems. Oh, don't trip over. More than a tangle. Oh, Betty. Who's Betty? Frank Spencer. Some mothers do have them. That was my childhood. Oh, Betty. Brum. Squirt. to not forget about is inside the door shuts excuse the mess in this car that's on my to-do list so yeah give these a little clean out so the seals can go back to sealing hopefully
didn't think that through either. Oops. Soaking everything. It's a bit damp. Just go delivery. I'm running out of room. Oops, stretch. So that's the car cleaned. I say cleaned loosely, cleaned by a bad individual. Uh, it's better than what it was so far. But any normal time, I'd run a bit of quick detour over here, you know, really treat the girl. Girl, boy, not sure, Freelander, that's the one. Uh, but seeing as the weather forecast is looking shocking for the weekend, uh, nothing but pretty much rain, and we might be using this at the weekend, it seems a bit pointless to make it all spick and span, only for it to get covered again at the weekend. So onwards with the glass cleaner. Not forgetting a quick scrub a dub dub of the inside of this car because it all got a bit dusty at vinegar which is a good thing because it means it wasn't raining bad thing inside of the car's filthy <laughs> One last thing I like to do while cleaning the car, technically it don't come under cleaning the car, uh, have a good check under the bonnet, make sure nothing looks wrong, especially after a hard day at vinegar, off-roading all day. Yeah, don't want to see frayed belts, split pipes, leaks or anything. Just have little ganders, check fluid levels, first steering's okay, see if we've got any air in it. Nope, that's all gravy. I'll top up the screen wash, cool up level. That's looking all good from here. Just do a quick oil check. See if we've got any oil left in her. Because she likes to puff it out on cold starts. But we all know that's a healthy engine. When you see a bit of blue smoke first thing in the morning, good engine. Everything's lubricated from the engine all the way through to the exhaust. Good job engine and oil we have some could do a little tickle a little drop looks like we're about three quarters half to three quarters so yeah let's probably stick a little drop in there and job will be a good one let's dump some screen wash in she's probably a little bit thirsty to be over the edge mandatory glug 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 blimey she is thirsty Got to save some in the bottle. Hey, and we are full. What's that done? Let's tip a bit of the finest Shell Helix Ultra Professional in. So she can puff that out of the exhaust over the next month or two. Oop, drop some of that over the edge. Mandatory. How much? One glug or two. That should be enough. It's already got plenty in it. Just a little tickle. Okay, I'm back on. You watch me drop this into the sump pan. Don't do it. Make sure that's on proper. It's better. Alright, jobs are good and under here. 
Tick, 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 correct. Last but no means least, give an old check to the tire pressures. I did this before vinegar, but yeah, just check afterwards as well. Make sure they're all at about, I set them to about 36. Universal pressure. Good for off-roading, good for on-roading. Everyone's happy. Oh, listen to the power. Yeah, tire pressure thing, it's in the boat. Stinky. There goes another liter of oil. Didn't like that oil anyway. Well, at least it's got some new stuff in it. Plugger in the hole. Please excuse the mess. And please excuse the lack of rover in this video. He is busy sleeping upstairs right now. He's having his nap. Hibernation. Close that too. Don't want the door taken off. Would be much easier if I just got a tire pressure thing. That'd be far too simple. Instead, stick a compressor on it. More effort. That'd be 36. Happy with that. Probably about 35 now. Everyone looks at you weird when you got a camera on your head. No idea why though. What sort of loony tune does he think he is, eh? Having a camera on his head. You probably can't see nothing anyway. Hey, it's the thought that counts, eh? At least I tried. I'm very trying. How entertaining has this video been? You must be really bored to have got to this point. 36. Happy days. You're probably not even recording now because the battery was going flat. If it could just last a little longer. Happy, happy. Make sure it's not tangled. Close that too. Oh, steer the on. Can we get a full house? Get on there. 36. Come on, one target here. Fingers work with me. Do screwing up. Now I'm always screwing up. <laughs> but not today. Last but not least. Thirty-six. That's what I like to see. Everyone happy. So we have it. We're going to make yourself drive really quick because the battery's almost flat. Dirty car to clean car. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Instagram logo is going to be on my face. If you've enjoyed this video, then great. It was just a spur of the moment. Just wanted to mix things up a bit. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Hopefully with Alana next to me. See you in the next one, everyone. Goodbye.